Hi, this is a quick three minute video on this. Hi, this is the first video in the series where we're looking at hard questions for this year's GCSE. Now, I've gone through and I've had a look at the predicted type of questions that you're going to get, which are going to be worth quite good marks. And the first one is going to be algebraic fractions. Please do ha stop the video, have a go at this particular question. You can also visit 3 Minute Maths and download this worksheet for yourself. OK, so the key issue with the first question is this word fully. OK, so we've just got to be a little bit mindful of that, that really, in order to simplify this, firstly, we need to start factorising through. Now, the first fraction is fairly straightforward. I can just factorise the numerator for 2, and I get 2 brackets x minus 6, and the bottom denominator remains exactly the same. OK, now we are dividing by a fraction, so I'm going to multiply and flip. OK, this becomes the new numerator, and that's fairly straightforward. That's going to be x minus 4 multiplied by x minus 5. OK, now if you're not sure about any of these things, please do let me know in the comments. I do have separate playlists that you can have a look at, especially our new denominator, which is going to be a factorization of that. Now, the method is, is we look at 2 times minus 36, and we say that's minus 72. And I'm looking for two numbers that, when I multiply them together, make minus 72. And when I add them together, make negative 6. OK, well, those two numbers are going to be negative 12 and positive 6. OK, so I then rewrite my expression as, rather than writing minus 6x, I'm going to write this as plus 6x minus 12x, and then negative 36 at the end. Now, I haven't changed any values, all I've done is rewritten that particular expression. And then the whole idea is that I then look at the first two terms, and I factorize those two terms, in this particular case for 2x, and I get x plus 3. And then I look at the second two terms, and in this particular case, I'm going to factorize those for minus 12. And guess what? I get x plus 3 again. So what I've got now is a common x plus 3 term. So therefore, I can write this factorization as 2x minus 12, because both of those terms are multiplying x, x plus 3. And all I've done is really brought them together. Now, the other thing I've noticed, and this is just, I guess, with a little bit of practice, is that 2x minus 12 can be factorized as 2 times x minus 6. And that just makes my life a little bit easier. So if I now write this into the new denominator, I'm going to get 2x minus 6 multiplied by x plus 3. And then really the fun bit starts, because what we can do then is start to cancel things out. So I've got x minus 4 I can cancel. I've got x minus 6 I can cancel. And actually, I've also got 2 that I can cancel as well from top and bottom. And the full simplification of this now is going to be x minus 5 divided by x plus 3. And that would be the answer to question number 1. OK, so I hope the video was useful. Please do add a comment below if you're not sure about anything. I'll always come back to you. Subscribe to the channel. I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.